In healthcare, we can use the U chart to track any time there's a chance for multiple errors per unit, per patient or per medication or per surgery. Anytime we're counting all the possible ways things can go wrong, we can use the U chart. So here we have some data. And again, we have month, we have patient falls over patient days. Now I converted that to 1,000 patient days because that's how most people draw it. And so we'll select that data, click on the QI Macros control chart menu, and choose U chart. And it'll ask us if patient falls is a sample size because it's bigger and the answer is new. It's 1,000 patient days is our sample size. And here you can see it'll prompt us for titles. And here you can see we had a before, and it looks like we had a process improvement. So we could actually come in, choose that point, and the QI Macros chart menu, show the process change, and reevaluate uh, the control chart rules. You can see we were under here, so that looks like it was statistically abnormal. And here we have a couple of points above probably two standard deviations, so that looks abnormal. And then we have a process improvement, six points in a row trending downward. So this tells us that, yes, indeed, we made an improvement and we're better, all right, on our, our process flow. Now, it's pretty easy to use a U-chart to monitor and track and make sure that we sustain this new level. If this starts to creep up, there's a problem. And so what we want to do to drive healthcare to zero defects, or as close as possible, is by monitoring this, we can tell whether we're doing well or we're falling back into old routines that lead us back into you know six falls per uh, patient days, thousand patient days. So this is how easy it can be to use a U chart to track these kinds of measurements in healthcare using the QI macros.